Hello again, and once again, welcome back to The Evil Within 2, this time for, if you can believe it, part 19. Right, welcome back to... Well, it's not really Sykes' safe house anymore. I think it's mine. I think ownership is probably transferred over to me, since he's probably exploring the deep, dark, unknown parts of STEM right now. I think it was like a 75% chance or something, right? So, yeah. I'm going to use my safe house's mirror to go back to my room, so I can use my gel, weapon parts, gunpowder... Locker keys. I think there's uh, a couple of slides to have a look at as well, so yeah, let's get around to that. All manner of things to do here, and we are going to start off... Well, I suppose we're going to start off with the projector and the cat. Right, Sergeant, you know what you need to do. I want 1400 in two jars on the double. <laughs> okay. Ah, good news. Looks like we haven't actually missed any more slides, and it looks like there is still one more to find. So let's see, the first one is about Lily, it looks like. Kidman. Yes, Sebastian? What are you thinking about? Lily. Everything that's happening in here is because of her. Everyone wants her. Like she's just some object to be owned. She's the real victim here. Poor thing doesn't know what it's like to live a normal life. All these years with Mobius have probably destroyed her innocence. I hope so. Her youth was stolen from her. She didn't get a chance to go to school, to have friends. All the birthdays and holidays she missed. It's heartbreaking to think of what she's been through. Lily was always so precocious, so smart and observant. She had this way of looking at you, where you knew that she understood you. Not just what you were saying, but what you were feeling, too. Well, that's why she was picked, I right? she was special. But I thought it was just because she was my daughter. They were looking for those Lily qualities. Special. She was found because of her off-the-chart scores on her standardized tests. Right. I keep referring to her in the past tense. Bad habit. It still doesn't seem real to me that she's alive. And in here. She is. But you've got to save her before you can start to rebuild your relationship. I'm here to help. Just let me know what I can do for you. Well, if you could drop anything by in my room, that would be pretty good. Uh, maybe even yourself, because I seem to remember in the first one, when we were partners and allies, she was pretty good when she did turn up. Right, yeah, um, well, hopefully the next time I see Lily, she's not going to be a figment of my imagination or a, a taunt from Theodore, and she's not going to be on fire. Next one is the bathtubs. You around, Kidman? For you? Always. <laughs> not true. Stem. This is twice now it's failed. A machine that puts you inside other people's heads? Who decided it was something anyone needed? <laughs> I don't want to know what's in another person's head. I learned that the last time. Ruvik developed it for its own twisted reasons. But Mobius saw potential in the technology. Potential to enslave everybody, you mean? Better than having it in the hands of a psycho. I don't know about that. Don't tell me you buy into that whole unifying mankind thing. Who knows what Ruvik would have done if you hadn't stopped him. Ruvik or Mobius. Either way, nobody should have their hands on this technology. It's too powerful. And power tends to get abused. <laughs> Very true. Very true. Would anyone be, like, not in the least surprised if Mobius and, let's say, the Umbrella Corporation were working together? You know, I think they, you know, sort of mix in with the same people in the same circles, you know? Right. I want to see two jars on the floor. Oh, well done, really. If I had a medal, I would give it to you. You know what? Fuck Kidman. You're the best partner anyone could hope for. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to... I don't know. What's it going to be next? Crafting? 1,010, eh? Ooh, that's interesting. Uh, let's go over to the lockers, though, because I might be able to find some more. Who knows? Or some more gel. What can I help you with, Detective? Well, many, many things, but probably in a moment. Yeah, let's focus on this to start with. It's either one or two keys I've got, I can't remember. Oh, one, okay. And that one is gonna be... Oh, I don't know. Uh, let's create a line. <laughs> that one? Okay, shock bolts. Sure, I mean, it saves the gunpowder and everything. And, you know, they're, they're pretty good. Alright, that's that. Let's have a look at this board again, shall we? What's it going to be? 
There's nothing wrong with being cautious. <laughs> But you can't avoid fighting forever. You keep telling Maybe me this. You should think about adding some combat skills. You keep telling me this, and you're not being very persuasive. Like, steady hands, firing stance, or anything like that, and even the slow mo doesn't really do too much for me because I've sort of adapted to the way the guns feel in this game, and I think anything that I do to it is probably going to sort of throw me off my game, so. Yeah, I'm actually okay with the way things are at the moment. And yeah, I, I probably won't even have enough gel in the remainder of the game to get synaptic focus, so forget that. Um, let's focus on... Maybe athleticism? There was one I saw last time that I want to take another look at. I think it was this one. Yeah, bounce back to 12,000. And would still have quite a lot to play with after I upgrade, so... Yeah, I'm going to get this. I'm, I'm definitely going to get this, actually. I'm just thinking about the fights with the flamethrower guys and how much... I was out of breath, and, you know, they were almost catching up to me. I think if, you know, I bounced back a little bit quicker, that would help out. Especially if we're in, you know, those sorts of fights again. Reflexes. That's not bad. 5,000. I can afford it. Do I want to increase the gauge maximum? Probably, but not desperately. <laughs> Actually, what about the other one? Like... Right, so if we go to recovery, I've already upgraded my healing items, so it's a hundred and... yeah, 130% instead of 100%, so that's going to be much more beneficial if, you know, there's more to work with. So, can we increase the health maximum? Right, so we've already got that one. Okay, 3,000, that's pretty cheap. Uh, maybe let's just get one. Let's get this one. Okay, and we sort of branch off here into two others. Okay. Yeah, sure. I mean, they're both okay, but hopefully I'm not going to go in and get myself into any of these situations to begin with. Probably will, but... Yeah. Uh, I mean, let's... Let's go back to athleticism. I'm gonna get this. I know 20% isn't much, but I just want to see what happens, really. I might regret it. We'll find out in due course, I suppose. And we've got, what, like about 4,000 left? Uh, you know what? I don't actually think there's anything... That cheap these days. That's 4,000. And so is that, but I'm, <laughs> I'm 50 short. And I definitely can't get that one, so... Yeah, okay, for the time being, I think we're probably done. And any final words of wisdom? I sense you're preparing for something you're afraid of. Hmm. I'm only afraid of failing. If I don't succeed... Then you will have sacrificed yourself for a good cause. If I sacrifice myself, there's no one to finish this. Sacrifice means you've lost. Sometimes. Sometimes it's what's needed to complete the task at hand. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Yeah, hopefully this time it's not needed. But again, we'll find out, I suppose. Anyway, yeah, we're done here, so let's head down the corridor and visit the crafting station, because there's a couple of things I want to have a look at. And actually, knowing that we've got 1,010, one thing in particular. Let's see. Okay, so... Weapon upgrade. It's gonna be the crossbow. And it's probably going to be the smoke bolt poison, right? Poison that won't affect me. So, that's great, yeah. Of course, if I get that, I won't be able to get anything else. Ah, uh, No. Do it, do it. I've got so many high-grade weapon parts, so that's not a problem. There you go. 1,000. And now I've got 10 to spend. <laughs> Let's see. Assault rifle? What, what would firepower do to it? Okay. Uh, these aren't that bad. They're pretty damn expensive, though. Considering this is quite late on in the game. The flamethrower? Is that not something we can upgrade? I guess not. Um, Let's see. Ammo capacity, fire rate. Still not really sure what I think about the assault rifle, so yeah. And anyway, it's just kind of pointless at the moment because I've got 10 weapon parts. Let's go and use the gunpowder to, I suppose, create smoke bolts. Let's get all of those. In fact, let's get... Yeah, let's get as many bolts as we possibly can, right? They're all pretty good. Even the freeze bolts. Um... Oh, we're missing one... Oh, we're missing one condenser. Still got 72 gunpowder. I guess we could top up the flamethrower fuel. I guess, yeah, it's one gunpowder for one fuel. That goes down really quickly, though, so... Yeah, I don't know if it's worth it. Plus, you know, half the enemies in Union seem to be on fire already, so it's probably not going to do much. Sniper rifle cartridges. I should probably get a couple of these. 
yeah, they're very, very expensive, even making them here. Let's get three of them, just in case I do need to do any precise shooting. Handgun. It's upgraded, so yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't be left with much, though. I'd be left with one. Let's get like 20 of them. Okay. Two more shotgun shells or something? Yeah. Go for it. And I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> one bullet for the assault rifle. Why not? Why the hell not? Medical syringes. How many herbs have I got? Oh, 25. Just, just 25 now. Bloody hell. Right, yeah, that's it. We're good to go, I think. I don't really want to do any target practice, do I? Nah. Right. Okay. Back to Union we go. And what I intend to do in this video is get to the Stronghold, the tower at the edge of the business district, where uh, Father Theodore has sort of set himself up. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Before that, I might want to do some other things. I'm already being heard, of course, in getting to the safe house. I sort of just sprinted in. I didn't really kill anyone, did I? So there's people around there. There's still a lot of people over there, I remember. Hmm, let's have a look at the map, shall we? Okay, so, yeah, that's where I need to go. That's the Sanctuary Hotel, which is also where we found the second of Stefano's paintings. That's where I need to go, but... I mean, there's the assault rifle ammo pouch there. There's a sniper rifle one right just behind me, actually. And who knows what else we'll find in the business district this second time around. Plus, the first time around, there were some areas I neglected, and it'd be nice to sort of revisit the area and see what I missed. So... Yeah, we'll get to the uh, we'll get to the hotel, but maybe let's just have a little look around before that. So yeah, I mean I didn't pick up this herb, so that's going to be my what like <laughs> the twenty sixth. Oh right, and we've got what seem to be weapon parts over here. Okay, anything else around here? No. You know what? Before I forget. Someone did ask me to uh, to use the revolver from the first game, and you know what? Yeah, I'm going to oblige. I kind of want to try it out myself. Uh, nope, not that one. This one. <sighs> Gotta say, kind of does feel good in the hands. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's see. So, that's that's the road where the Guardian was, right? And I, I remember there was a lot of boxes down there that I didn't destroy. I pretty much just ran out of the area when she emerged. And I assume she's not around anymore, so maybe let's go down there. Christ, oh, oh, fuck, what, what, there's another one? Shit, there's another one. Oh god, and he's coming. Damn, okay, well I've already got the flamethrower, so I don't really know if I want to engage with that guy. Yeah, he takes a lot of ammo, I don't think it'll be worth it, really. I mean, the 5,000 gel, though, that's nice. What's this, something new? Yep, hang on. Another one? More assault rifle. Okay. Sure. Okay. What was that? Did I just... Ah, yeah, I did see something. Weapon parts? Sure. Why not? I guess these guys can't see through the gaps, right? Ooh. Let's see. I'm going to have to deal with you, aren't I, if I want to go to those weapon parts. You at least. Maybe this is a good opportunity for me to use my smoke bombs. I don't know. No, wait. You gonna sit still? No. No, you're not. Let's try that again. Their heads are so small, they just blend in with their fat bodies. But not well enough. Alright, quickly now, quickly. Before anyone sees me. It's not really the gel I'm bothered about, it's the weapon parts. This bloody animation can take a while. 250, there you go. That's alright. Now quickly. The gel. And... Uh, let's just go, let's just go. Come on. No one's seeing anything. Oh! Why'd I say that? Nope! No one's seeing anything. Good old stealth too, right? <laughs> I think actually if I had stealth 3 I could probably just walk right up to them, like facing me, and they probably wouldn't see me for a few seconds. It's a little bit silly, really. Ah, ah, here we go, this way. Down here. There you go. So what? Okay, that, that brings it up to 120 now. Alright. 
Yeah. Plus, you know, I'm exploring this area because it's been a while since we've explored, a, a, you know, an open... open world sort of area, you know what I mean? Uh, the last few videos have been through the linear sections, going through the marrow and stuff. And it's, it's kind of nice to be back in Union, really. A few people did actually mention in the comments a few videos ago that the game does actually feel a little bit different after you kill Stefano, and that's absolutely true. I've liked it. I don't know if I've liked it quite as much as the, the first half, though. It's been pretty fun, though. Let's see. Right, so the Guardian, I don't think, can emerge from burnt bodies. And you're actually dead, so <laughs> let's just pick up all of this. Yeah, there you go. It has been worth it coming down here. Um, I remember finding a key on uh, a Mobius member down there. We'll get to that in a moment, I suppose. There you go. Ah, I need an axe. It'd make chopping down these boxes so much more pleasurable. You just do it in one! Still, you know, like ten at a time, that's pretty good. I must, was that investigate or kick? Okay, kick. Alright. Loads of stuff around here. You're not carrying anything more? Never mind. Yeah, gunpowder. Metal pipes, yeah, great. Love it. Brilliant, in fact. Yeah, okay. Nothing in the back. Oh, yeah, there is! Hey, that's that condenser I was missing. <laughs> Alright. Okay, where else? Where else haven't I been? I mean, nothing else flagged up on this. Nothing at the moment. Let's have a look. So that's that's the diner area, right? That's where I killed one of the flamethrower guys. We didn't go down there. Let's go. Yeah, let's go uh, round to the east if we can. Hopefully those guys aren't too fucking bothersome. I guess I can probably just knife in the back. Maybe I should try out my poison. I don't know. Let's see. You guys, ah, oh, you guys kind of suck actually because of your fire. If I could poison you, that'd be pretty damn good. Right. Okay. Okay, so both of them are being poisoned at the moment, right? Unfortunately, it doesn't put out their flames, but... Okay, that's one. Let's see if we can get the other one quickly. <laughs> Alright. Poison wasn't really necessary, but... Thank you very much either way. Gunpowder? Thank you. The Devil's Own Tap Room. Should we go back in there again? There'll be something in there. I mean, we've killed the enemies. Ah, oh, there is something in there! Hey! In we go. <laughs> All right. Hey, another herb. Yeah, that's what I was really after. Very nice. A couple of bottles down there. A jukebox. Okay, you probably want to stay away from that. Oh, okay. Didn't actually intend for you to do that, but what we got? Green gel? Green gel, apparently. What's in here? More weapon parts? And what's that? It's a fuse. Okay. Oh, the art's gone, but there's a statue. So I guess the art hasn't gone at all. <laughs> all right. There's another one. I can uh, I can continue opening the lockers. Continue my line. Maybe I don't know. Don't know whether to trust him. Yeah, I'll take one. That's all I'll take. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, alright. Yeah, I'm pretty happy I'm re-exploring this area. Through here, then. Forget about those guys. We're going around the corner. So, let's see. Yeah, I seem to remember there were a, a couple of members of the Lost around here. Not anymore? No? Apparently not. Is it you? Yeah, it's you. Right on the very edge. No one's waiting to push me over. No? Okay. <laughs> I think we're good to go. So how much are we talking about here? 1500? Okay. And some more boxes and some more of this. Okay. <laughs> you know what? I kind of wish that I came out and destroyed all these boxes before going into my room, but how could I have known? 
Great. Alright. Yep, there's that. What else we got here? Another metal pipe? Yep. Certainly won't be short of harpoon bolts. And there we go. Is that it? I think we're kind of out of boxes. Anything around there? I'm just thinking, if I was making the game, I would hide something around there. I definitely would. Especially if we can run across this, which we can't. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, probably for the best. Don't want to land on those uh, those low-poly houses and shit down there. Uh, okay. Where next? Where next? Oh, I killed the guy with the flamethrower. Came through the alleyway. There's those two hulking guys over there. We could maybe go towards the tower. Uh, let's think about this. Wasn't there... I mean, I'm just thinking when that, there was that gargantuan leg blocking my way. There was a building that I never actually went into. I think it's that one over there. There was a door that it was preventing me from, from going into, so... <laughs> Another herb. Yeah, let's hop over. And let's see if we can maybe get in. Alright, there's a lot of people over there. Alright. The hedge helped me out before. Maybe it can help me out again. Oh, I, okay, the door, it seems to be blocked. But, there is something over there. They seem to be pretty fixated on theatre for whatever reason, so I think we're probably okay. Weapon parts? 70! Right! It's worth the trip. Definitely worth the trip. I think I'll probably just leave them to it, really. <laughs> okay. And, yeah, I think... You know, I'm pretty satisfied with that. Right. I know I'm avoiding all this confrontation. I will use the revolver at some point, promise. I really will. Just not right now. There you go. Oh, please. Just once. Two in one. <laughs> Happens very, very rarely. More weapon parts? Yeah. Oh, what was that? Oh, okay. Yeah. So many were burnt. So many candles for them as well. Yeah, those flamethrower guys, they really took everyone out. It's kind of crazy. What? How did that happen? I don't even know what happened then. That was like a frame skip, but... That... Did I just warp through time? I don't even know. Alright, okay. He's still around here. Now, let's see. Let's go back in here, because there, of course, was that, I think, what, sniper rifle pouch over here? Where was it? It's not far away, is it? No, just like 20 meters away. Just Maybe just move outside that car, near the burning guys. Uh, again. It's looking good. <laughs> yes! Ooh, I love it. Quickly, quickly now, quickly. Ooh. Okay, there's that big guy over there. Here we go, here we go. This is it. Come on, let's do this fast, because there's another guy behind me. And that's it, that's the last one. Right, I'm probably never going to actually hold 25 sniper rifle bullets, but it's nice to know that I can. <laughs> and he just turned away. He doesn't give a shit. Whoa, that guy's running. I don't know why. Maybe he's just trying to work some of that fat off. Who knows? Oh, go on then. Oh! Oh, that sounded good. Oh! That, that was great. Of course you heard it, that's that's the negative effect of it, I suppose. Is the revolver actually more powerful than the silence pistol? I don't even know, but kind of felt like it. I'll have to uh, I'll have to do some more research, I think. <laughs> All right, over here. Oh, there's that guy with the flamethrower again. Okay, don't want to go that way. Let's go this way instead. Oh, I go over there. I think it's, yeah, it's that guy over there, right? Okay, cool. <sighs> Hundred and fifty now. Again, probably not going to hold that much ammo ever, but it's nice to know that that exists. And some more weapon parts. Good stuff. Okay. Oh shit! <laughs> He's coming down. 
Let's, uh, let's play Ring Around Rosie and maybe destroy some boxes on the way. Oh, there you go. Mm, is he still coming? Don't know. Let's turn this off. Right. I don't know where he's gone. Maybe he's sort of following me around. Yeah, we're here now. We're in the Sanctuary Hotel. Let's have a look. The hotel is clear, Hoffman. Are you done with your tweaks? As ready as I'll ever be. Okay. I'm sending you the coordinates. That seems unnecessary. Just give it the address. Ah. I remember that. Well, here it is. What is it? It's a portable field stabilizer. O'Neill must have been working on it before <laughs> Theodore changed him. Careful, it you could go. It's a small area of stabilization that should keep the fire away. How small? Its circumference is about as big as a safe house. Big enough to protect me. Good. How's it work? That's the tough part. It's a prototype, so it's a little temperamental. I have to operate it. Last thing you want is for it to go on the fritz while you're in a wall of flame. I can't let you do that. It's too dangerous. So is staying here if you can't get inside. Besides, I'm sick of hiding. The only way we're going to get through this is if we work together. It's the only way to save Lily. And what if you need emergency psychoanalysis? <laughs> Who's going to help you then? You know just what to say to convince me, Hoffman. <laughs> of course I do. I'm the team psychologist. That you are. You might want to prepare for this. Let me know when you're ready to go. Right. What? Hang on. Oh, oh, there's a mirror taking a seat apparently now. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, this this feels pretty big. And, you know, we're obviously nearing the end of the game, so... Oh, we've got Hoffman's journal now. Wait. I read the other journal before. No, it might not happen to her. Anyway, yes, um, this is hard to decipher, but with effort you managed to read the most recent entry. Liam's transformation was horrifying, yet fascinating. It went far beyond neuro-linguistic programming. Theodore's words did more than influence Liam. They physically transformed him. No wonder Theodore wants control over STEM. It has amplified his already formidable influential prowess. The things he could do in here... Sebastian's personality isn't as weak as Liam's was, but he still suffers from unresolved trauma. Theodore will no doubt try to use his new abilities to break Sebastian down. I just hope that he's strong enough to resist. Hmm. Well, after that sort of dream, I think I am. Right, well, I think we're pretty much good to go, honestly. Uh, I'm going to try these again, because I'm sort of cheeky, and I want to get as much as I possibly can. Uh, no thank you. What about this one? <coughs> oh, hang on, two? Two fuses! Nice, very nice. And what about upstairs? Because I I found a statue where one of the paintings was. I'm hoping to find another one, honestly. What's that down there? Just That might be like some weird collectible or something. That doesn't look like a bottle or anything. Oh, nothing, really? Nothing. And what about these doors? Are they still locked? Yeah, I assume so. Oh well. I got lucky once. Once is enough. Yeah, what was that? Just hiding behind the counter. Is it another strange Bethesda item or... Mysterious... Oh! Hey! <laughs> I like that game. A lot, actually. A lot. So... Yeah, I think we're probably good to go. You want to do this thing? Let's do this thing. If I can just face it, there you go. Hey, Sebastian. <laughs> Am I ready? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm ready. All right, Hoffman. Let's do this. Okay. Lead the way. To the tower we go. Yeah, that's not imposing at all, is it? Let's hope that thing works. I'll have to carry and operate it from here. Hmm. It should protect us from the fire, but it won't stop those things in there from trying to kill us. I bet it won't. Don't worry, I'll take care of them. Hopefully. Here goes nothing. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go. This is where it gets interesting. It's working! 
working. Just make sure to stay inside the door. Do you want to do that Come a little on. bit quicker, maybe? I mean, do you have to walk so I can't fucking slowly with it? Through these flames. Just keep an eye out for those things and follow me. I know the way. Okay, well. Yeah, seriously, can we go into a jog or something? Oh, hang on. Whoa. One's coming through. I got him. <laughs> Did I get him? You know what? I'm actually thinking this is more powerful. I might continue to use this. Hang on, I think I heard a grunt somewhere. Another one. Watch your back, Hoffman. That's what you're here for. Good thing. Whereabouts? They're everywhere. Genuinely cannot see. Ah. Woo! Damn! I'm liking this revolver. Whoever wanted to see it, thank you. Because <laughs> I probably wouldn't have, you know, left uh, James Bond mode otherwise. This is good. This is great. Open. Not any fucking more. Right. How much further? It seems a lot longer oh. once you're in it. He wants to keep us out. Good. That means he's afraid. If you say so. Grab as much as I possibly can from her back pocket. Yeah, forget the gel. Bigger fish to fry. In any manner, eh? Sit. Don't stop now. What's that? We're almost there. Hold on. There's something wrong with the stabilizer. Can you fix it? I'm working on it. Watch my back. I'm trying to. Ah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. yeah. It seems to be so much better than the silence pistol. Oh boy. Just like one headshot and one shot to the chest and they are down. That was I think close. that's it. Yeah, that's it. Can you like fix it and move at the same time, please? Because this is really not the time to do this. I assume. Oh, shit! I, to be honest, I thought that was just going to be another syringe. God damn, I probably should have opened the box a little bit sooner. What's in here? Come on. Come on. Quick, 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 quick. No, oh, okay, we're full on that. Are you regretting this yet? This is my chance to make up for Ooh, what I did. Quick, 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 quick. Shit. And shit. All the others I couldn't stab. So, no, I don't regret it. Good to know. Come on. What, are we like halfway there now? I haven't seen an enemy in a while. Oh shit, missed that one. Ah! This thing is otherworldly good. It really is. <laughs> I mean, I was supplied with all sorts of bolts, the shotgun shells in the box. Why would I ever use that? Really? This is just. This is a killer. Shit, my skin is burning. Just got oh. Shouldn't be a problem. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, thank you very much. Any more? Oh, she's continuing to move, so I guess not. She hasn't been hit yet, so this is going pretty well. Come on, okay. One more bullet, there you go. You've got an empty pocket now. You're not being weighed down by your ammunition. Okay. What's happening? Is it just going to be the guys that are on fire? I guess it's got to be, right? Hurry up. It's getting How's that coming here. from there? It's kind of hard to see them through the fire sometimes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, finally. Whoa. Tell you what, tell you what. Hey. <laughs> that was a slash, wasn't it? Hoffman, you okay? Kind of took you out a little bit there. Oh boy, hang on. One problem with it though, unfortunately, is the reload time, because it's a revolver. It takes a little while to put each one in individually. Here we go. Nah, I was going to say, maybe I should do that. I've been trained. I got it! Good. Nice. Gotta go. Now. Run. That's more like it. God. Sebastian, use the revolver. It's so much better. 
probably should have been your plan from the start, really, but... Mm, okay. Almost there! Oh. Ah! Oh. Explains no! why I got to see the journal. Yeah. Shame. It's a real shame. One by one, my allies are slowly dying or disappearing. Yeah. I'm sorry, Yukiko. I'll make him pay. I promise. Let's hope so. So this is it, is it? This is the tower, this is chapter 14, Burning After the Altar. This, I'm the only one left, but he's not gonna stop me. Alright, so this is it, this is where we uh, begin our ascent, and see if we can kill Theodore. You know what you need to do. I want 1400 in two jars, on the double. You around, Kidman? For you? Always. <laughs> Not true. Yeah. This one. <sighs> Gotta say, kinda does feel good in the hands. <laughs> yeah, those flamethrower guys, they really took everyone out. It's kinda crazy. What? He doesn't give a shit. Whoa, that guy's running. I don't know why. Maybe he's just trying to work some of that fat off. Who knows? O'Neill must have been working on it before Theodore <laughs> changed him. Careful, you could go. Ooh, quick, 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 shit, shit. All the This thing is otherworldly good. It really is. 